this video we are going to do an exercise that I often call Windows 101. It's a very quick overview of some of the basic functions that you can do with Windows Explorer and how to treat files and folders. To open up Windows Explorer in Vista, one of the ways and probably the easiest way, at least for me, is to go down the lower left hand corner, click on Start, go over and click on Computer on the pop-up menu, and now we are in Windows Explorer. Let me maximize the window so that we can better see it. The window is set up in this way. At the very top, Windows Explorer window is set up at the very top with a menu bar. Right below it is a bar of some quick shortcuts and an organized button that we'll come back and maybe look at later. On the left hand pane, notice there are two panes, a left and a right. On the left hand pane, when you click on computer, it shows you all the drives and the folders that are on the desktop. Well, we're going to be playing with folders and files that are housed on our C drive. So I'm going to click on a downward, on the arrow pointing to the right on the C drive, and it kind of collapses or expands, rather, all of the folders that are on the C drive and any files that might be laying around loose. In the view right now, there are no loose files. They're all inside of a subfolder under the C drive. Now, notice that each one of them has a triangle to the left. Click on the triangle if it's pointing to the right, and it points down. And now all the subfolders you've expanded in this case, the dollar sign recycle bin has been expanded uh, to show all the subfolders. Go down here to another one and say click on the arrowhead by drivers, make it point down, and now you see subfolders underneath drivers, uh, storage, system, and video. All these gold things are the folders and in subfolders. And you can see it's kind of they're all indented, and then you could keep going. You could expand the storage. And there's even a subfolder under storage called R13943. And that's how it works in terms of these triangles. When they're pointing to the right, you can click on them to expand them. If you want to contract them again, click on the arrowhead that's now pointing towards down. And now it's that particular tree or level of folders has been uh, contracted. If you have a folder that doesn't have a triangle by it, and you click on that folder, the contents or the files in that folder are shown on the right-hand side. So to put it another way, the source of the folders or the location where the particular files is highlighted on the left, its contents are shown on the right. And the total path to that particular file or folder rather, is shown on the very top line. In this case, we got to folder 139843 by first starting up the computer. We then opened up the C drive. We then opened up drivers. We then opened up storage. And then there was a folder, finally, 139483, and it contains all of these files. So left-hand side, the source the right hand side of the contents. Okay, now that we know how to open up folders and that the folders are on the left and the contents of a given folder are on the right, let's go down and take a look at some individual files. Here is a folder on the left hand side called miscellaneous folders and as you can see from up here it I haven't clicked on it yet so it's still pointing where I was uh, a few seconds ago. But if I click on the left hand side for miscellaneous folders now it shows the past path to miscellaneous folders. It's the very first level underneath the C drive. Let's go to Jackass Lakes 2004 folder. Now miscellaneous folders on the left hand side I haven't 
expanded its tree and yet I see that it does definitely have some folders underneath there because remember in a more general sense what's on the right hand side are the contents of the folder that's highlighted or the drive that's highlighted on the left hand side and it turns out that these are the folders and then there are some loose files so I'm going to expand miscellaneous folders on the left hand side by clicking on the triangle and I'm going to go down to where it says Jackass Lakes 2004. I'm going to click there. Notice no triangle. Right hand side shows all of the files that are in Jackass Lakes for 2004. And there's the path to Jackass Lakes 2004 at the very top. Notice I'm looking at a list. Actually I'm looking at my what is called details on the right hand side. I'm viewing what is called details if you want to use the proper terminology. Details because it shows things not only the file name, it shows the size of the file, what kind of file it is, and the date it was last saved in this case. But I can view this side on the right hand side, this panel on the right hand side in, any, in several ways. Up here on this quick action bar there's Views button, and it's got a downward arrow. Whenever you see a downward arrow, that implies, hey, there's something underneath there. So I click on it. There's details. Let's take a look at medium icons. Now, everything on the right-hand side is shown as a medium icon. Because the vast majority of the files are pictures, you can see tiny thumbnails of them. Let's say that I wanted to select any one of these files. I click on it. It turns a light blue highlight, highlighted in light blue in Windows Vista and 7. And now whatever I do would be done to that particular file. If I double click on it, it opens up the file with whatever program is appropriate. Since this was a JPEG image. It was opened up in Windows Photo Gallery. I'll close the file. Would it, if I wanted to select multiple files, I would click on the first one I wanted to select, hold down my control key in the lower left hand corner, and click on other files that I wanted selected. Now whatever I do will be done to all of those files. I have to have the control key down after the second after the first click or the first selection or I would lose it. For example, if I wanted to add one more file here but forget to hold down the control key with my finger and I click on this next file I want, it's selected but I've lost all my selections of the other files. But if I wanted to select a series of files right next to each other, say from this file here, I hold my left mouse button, go over here, hold down the shift key, and click on that file, and all the ones between those two, as well as those two, are selected.